Hello, hello, hello. It's been so long since I've streamed. God, I hope I managed to not fuck it up, eh? That'd be good. That would be lovely. We've got a got a great lineup today. This is gonna be fantastic. This is uh this is one of my favorite maps. Uh Saint Marie Dumont. And we're even luckier. We're actually playing it on one of my favorite points on my favorite map. AA Network, this is going to be fantastic. We're going to be streaming today from the uh, the AE to AD uh, side of things, which is lovely. They're going for oh, an incredibly narrow setup, which is uh, lovely to see, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, Starlord said he doesn't like the music on my streams. Starlord can get fucked and we're going to try and uh, follow him around all game uh, and just catch all of the times that he dies, uh, quite frankly. Um, is our mission today, but in the meantime, you know, in between him dying, we will capture some good action. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll be able to get some uh, some good strats uh, caught on camera and stuff like that. I'm gonna double check my audio settings. Looks like it's okay on my end. I don't know. Look, Starlord's already saying no music. Get fucked. Music only, I'm afraid. Let's turn my HUD always on. That's what I should do. Where's my HUD? Hmm. HUD always on. Lovely. Almost like I'm almost a professional. Let's take a look at the map. Look at this lineup here from 82 AD. So narrow. I hear shots already? Interesting. Oh. Those are some early shots. And apparently a TK early doors as well. Oh no! That truck's been fucked, hang about. <laughs> One of their trucks went. Please tell me that's uh please tell me that wasn't a TK. Please tell me. But <laughs> Dan is in the truck, he's uh the only one alive inside the truck, I think. Uh, no flips in the front seat with him. That's why you put a squad leader in the front seat, boys. Um because otherwise you get wrecked. So that's a, that's a hell of a shot there. From 116. Um, in this game if it did come from them but we've got rockets landing inside of the point we've got a decent deployment here from 116 really really uh, narrow again lots of players coming in to fight for this five ways cap sector players in the point rockets fall off great rocket from on top of that truck but then an even better one nails the rest of that truck coming in We've got the Lux firing off, taking down one truck already, and 116 are storming here. There's absolutely nothing on this eastern side of the map here, and um, everything out on the west for uh, 82 AD, but even that is getting hot already. Um, they're going to be able to pressure these outposts, I think. Longs does manage to take down Sir Kartoffen, and Boto, lovely from him. Tivrox and Dark Saber managed to spawn in. Luckily for them, Tristan there is alive, but Satchel's taken out of the outpost already. This is nuts, and Tristan goes down. But what an absolute nuts deployment from 116. They've gone all in here. Everything is going in. I've just realized the uh, stats won't update until I click on it. There we go. Gem's got eight kills so far. Lovely from him. Maybe he caught himself a little truck snipe uh, that I missed. 
but the point is absolutely going the way of 116 here and that Lux is just absolutely battering that Stuart. There's going to be no kills between those two for a little while there. Double Stuart opening from the Greyhounds. Oh, <laughs> now get fucked from our Fox Air with an unbelievable rocket into the Stuart. That's ridiculous. Oh, you love to see those. Is he going to get another one? There's another one coming in. <laughs> Fuck me, our Fox. What was that? Pinpoint perfect from him as he absolutely nails the, the backup Stuart there. They've still got one in the point, but Greyhounds, let's just take a look at this map here. So there's there's certain areas that you absolutely want to try and control here um, for AI Network. We, we've got five ways, call it whatever you want. You want to control this. You want to control PS Farm as well. Um, and then, of course, you want to try and get control of this front side of the point if you're uh, if you're the Greyhounds. Luckily for 82 AD, they've got one of these um, key zones here. You'll see very, very few players make their way through this wheat field. It's the wheat field of doom. You don't simply cross it. Um, and that's why you want to have control of PS Farm. Now, it looks like eight, uh, 116 are going to contest it, um, but they're not. Oh, sorry, 82 AD are going to contest it, but they're not got control of it just yet, and they're going to need to. Um, that means they're going to need to get themselves a garrison out here in the H column, uh, but also they're going to need to contest dugout as well. It's going to be a wide game here with it being AA network. Um, so let's take a quick, quick pan across this map, see what we've got. 116 are just racing, man, absolutely racing. No one's stopping them here. Um, there is not a lot between them and cattle sheds already this early into the game. Absolutely nuts. So they're very much going to be. Uh, pressing through here now they do have one squad leader down here 82nd ad jay neil rip's gonna have to get the kill he does nice single shot very lovely he's giving away his outpost unfortunately that's uh just a part of taking that shot he had to get the kill though but 116 are racing out of the point again they're even managing to cross this field now they've got control of the other side of the hedgerow sorry the other side of the field and got control of this hedgerow in the center of our screen here fair play to them though um they are absolutely going for it. Now, let's dive down into gardens here. Let's take a look at what we've got. We've got Sanzu, Gelman, Tristan Long's God, Kim Jong, all looking to try and get out. They're not quite boxed out just yet, but 116 are running, and they are racing to get themselves across from five ways. Um, they've got to press W. They've got to go get control of it. You don't. If you can get control of Gardens uh, here as uh, as this Axis team, you are in a fantastic position. You will be looking so so strong. Now I see a truck behind already. Now that does go down. It does make me feel like maybe 116 have got something deep so far. Obviously not going to be able to see it on the map, which is a real shame. I can't see anything as I fly around here. But the first 76 starts to roll out at this stage. 482 AD. And now we're going to settle maybe. No, we're not going to settle. I thought maybe we're going to settle into a bit of a familiar rhythm here. But Colt from 116 has got himself into this break or mana compound does go down to the mg setup just simply to hold that one gateway um that's uh, that's a lot of commitment to hold it but kip's now looking to make his way around and this is going to be it 116 if they can get around break or and they can pressure it from two sides it will be game over here as well Let's take a quick peek down into here. We do have rockets going into this Panzer IV here. We've got Feet Tony, Doctor, um, and Curley. Oh, Non-pen into the side. Swell boy, you cannot pen the side of a Panzer IV. I'm sure you know this, though. I'm sure you know this. More rockets flying out from the Greyhounds. They are using these rockets to their full advantage, trying to snipe everything that they can. Now, Phonics, PZ, and Schmal, they're looking to press this Lux into the fray. They should have a Tiger rolling out very, very soon. One of their tanks has likely gone down at this point um, to allow for that. They certainly do have the tank advantage 
for this very moment until that 76 gets into the fight. AT gun there from Pito is going to be looking to try and snipe out maybe the Panzer IV. I don't think they'll get an angle on it just yet. Let's take a quick pan of back across to Pierre's farm because we have got some wide fighting going on here. You can see that Dusen Troop has already made his way forward and is now, well, he's going to get picked off there by Stoner. Nice shooting there. And they've managed to hold off for just now. They've managed to stamp their uh, stamp their authority, 116. And 82 AD now are going to hold back. Oh, it looks like we've got one big old tiger boy over here coming up to well some people have got different names for it but some people might call it the god hill some people might call it dog out hill there are a lot of different calls for it you should be able to see that at gun at some point soon be interested to see where this 76 is oof that is deep from siege is he really looking to snipe from there he might well be you know he might well be, might just be looking to try and stay alive, ensure that they've got the uh, the tanks up and that they're not going to get caught out too early. Now it does look like one of the tanks, Phonix, the camera controls in, uh, in hell at least, so jank man. Lock onto it that just sticks me into a tree. They're going to look to try and pressure on this eastern side of the map, which is a smart move I think, get yourself out of the way. Infantry is going to struggle to deal with you. They're not going to be able to kill you from the front unless they get an AT gun built. And so if you can keep moving, keep the front pointing towards them, then uh, you certainly will be able to hold them at bay and you can commit all that infantry elsewhere then at that stage. Just some very close fighting going on down here. Trip managing to take down the spotter there. And again, really aggressive play from 116 has earned them so much ground here. Um, and that is going to come into massive play. Where the hell did he just get shot from? <laughs> Dude just got sniped from nowhere. But 82 AD, they've got to get the pressure going here. They can't sit back. They've got to get some of these trades. And they are trading right now. You can see sort of one for one each, each of these players going down. But they do have to get going at some stage. They've got to get a move on. Do they have anything working out around the back here? We can see they do have uh, the Gat Squad here, Gem, all the way around the outside. Um, and then they've got this Recon Tank in the back. That's Wild Bill, naturally, uh, going as wide as he can in his Recon Tank. Probably looking for Tank Marks, looking for Garrison Marks, etc. So he can go in and, and sweep those away um, as best he can. Recon plane's going to come up. Obviously, I'm not going to see any of that, which is unfortunate. But at this stage now, it looks like it's been stabilized just a little bit here uh, for 82 AD and 116. And this match has uh, has settled down now into that sort of familiar rhythm that you find with uh, with Hell Let Loose. I think Greyhounds, you'll find that they'll put a lot of pressure here um, into the gardens area. Jesus, this server, man. I was playing earlier. You know, recording the footage and stuff, making sure it was all good. Uh, no worries whatsoever. Now I'm on the server and I'm down to like 45 frames per second. Um, turn up some of the stream, uh, some of the in-game settings. Uh, but I don't think they affect it that much, you know. I don't think it should be too uh, too taxing to up the, uh, the view distance to Epic and the textures to Epic. Um... I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong, though. You can see here... Oh, interesting. So Lucky's actually going to try and smoke these tanks out. Um, obviously, they've got these long sight lines here. They're going to try and get rid of any rep stations that they've got bunkering them in. Um, but at this stage now, these guys can actually, from here, they can splash so much of the barns. You can shoot through here, I believe, um, to get shots into the barn. Obviously, you can see through this gap here to get anything in there. And that's the doorway um, for this eastern barn. So it's totally possible for them to do a lot of damage from here with something like a Panzer IV set up as a bit of a turret. Um, send the rest of the crew back to go get the uh, to go get a uh, a tiger. Just leave that set up a stationary turret, and it makes total sense um, to do so. Now, tiger's looking to try and engage back there. Just can't see what he can see. Nothing, nothing in my opinion. Back there, um, and I don't see any other tiger. There's any other 76s coming out. We should be seeing a second 76 at some stage. Now you can see here, Siege is having to triple rep his 76. Now they've got to try and get a mark onto that, and so this tiger can engage. But it is going to be a hell of an engagement all that distance. 
Now the tanks here are going to be the main holding force, I would imagine. That, uh, that uh, Panzer IV is going to be a bit of a nuisance, I think. So I'd be surprised um, if we see those tanks move anytime soon. Though, somehow, across the field, Halber, he's just going to make it, no worries. He's just going to keep going. Why not, hey? You can make it across this field. You might be able to snipe a... Um, an outpost or something. He's taking some pot shots across. I think he got one or two kills there. Might giving himself away though. Is McFork's gonna spot him? No, he's not expecting anyone across this field. And Herber can't quite land those shots. But into the trenches come 82 AD. They've pressed W. But just enough here from 116 to keep a hold of it. And they're not gonna lose this ground. Haber now. Making his way forward. It's going to be difficult. He's not going to be able to take out those tanks. It's such a shame he can't get the satchel on. Uh, that would be pretty clutch at this stage, but unfortunately not. Now Siege's tank still back there. Still waiting. Still looking for that angle. Be interested to see. Is there any sort of view through here? Siege has found it. Siege is always going to find it. Just needs a little bit more height on that shot. Now Caroni is going to back up. Uh, and they can't quite get the height on that shot. Sniping through. They might be able to get, get it now. Having just exposed themselves a little bit through that edge of the, uh, the hedge. Through that gap. But they're unable to return those shots in kind. Keep just one eye down there, I think. Looking across the map here, we have got... 82 AD, looking to try and pressure through, unable to make the break, but they have managed to reclaim just this little section of territory here, which is pretty crucial. It's well played from them to be able to do so. They are going to need more, though, to be able to hold it. And it doesn't look like they're committing much into this central meat grind area, and 116 is going to be quite happy, I think, uh, just to hold them at bay here, having gained all that territory already. Now, Jem has made his way all the way round here, um, and having managed to set up this uh, this garrison. So they are looking to try and maybe just reflank through. It'd be good if they managed to get through to Piers. You can see Prep Squad Outpost is getting a little bit spicy warm here, um, thanks to the presence of Bo Frost. We're going to need to deal with him and his outpost, though, which is going to be difficult. 116, make it all the way around the outside here, actually, um, with a recon squad, which is interesting. They'll be looking to try and find things like this garrison set up in an open field, which is very interesting. Is Chris going to spot it? Is he going to turn and see Jay Neal? Is Jay Neal going to see him? Jay Neal's going to spot him. Chris goes down. I don't, don't think he saw the garrison, so that's going to go unmarked at this stage. And Arpok's uh, totally blissfully unawares of any of his surroundings, thanks to just being a little bit isolated from his squad at this stage. But you can see now, this is just going to be hedgerow to hedgerow fighting through this section. 116 spawning our full squad in, though. That's going to be pretty big, pretty crucial for this. Strafe run comes in. That's, a, uh, that's an 82 AD strafe and run. And they do have a, a little bit of progression here, actually, um, which is nice to see. Well, 116 are breaking through now, aren't they? They're going to have to do something about this. Looks like maybe they even managed to snatch an outpost. Maybe they, I'm not quite sure how they managed to break that one. Maybe it was a grenade and the uh, the explosion just didn't want to render. I'm not too sure. But they are breaking through now. Kellyon making his way forward. Looking to pressure this garrison just here in the center of my screen. Don't think he'll make it in this life. Surely not. Might be able to pick up Mr. Sunshine. No, nope, Mr. Sunshine manages to get that crucial trade there, but they have broken through on this uh, this hedgerow here. And if they can just get that full squad spawned and pushing, they will be able to break this uh, this eastern side. But there is contest actually inside of A Network, thanks to Jekyll, Tivrox, um, managing to get into this uh, the strong point. Tivrox, go a little bit north, buddy. Come on, get that pressure going. Make sure you've got as much cap presence as possible, because if you can get... 116 to overcommit backwards. That could be pretty crucial um, to the rest of this uh, to the rest of this game. A trip there on 25 kills already as an infantry player. I'm sure he's playing infantry. Is uh, is pretty nuts. 
seeing as we're only 15 minutes into the game. Uh, doing very, very well so far. There was a little bit of cap pressure. Not too many players have spawned back to defend it, though. And that little bit of pressure into uh, five ways will probably make them a little bit nervous. You can see the squad lead. Look at maybe it pushing backwards. Um, I don't blame them at all. Infantry dying on the point will make you nervous as well. But Jekyll goes down, and that's the main bit of threat gone. Jem manages to move his outpost in time. He is being, uh, well, tracked here by Salat, who is getting very, very interested um, in Jem's location and is going to start trying to make his way through. And again, this is crucial to the 82 AD attack. They need this 360 degree pressure. 1 and 6 would be quite happy with defending. Um, I think for the next 70 minutes, Salat goes down. He'll have an idea that's where they're coming from, though. And in fact, you can see Hazet there already recalled um, and coming back. I'd like to see a garrison mark go out across that hill as well. Should be able to see it from down there. But they are slowly getting more players into position here to attack AA Network. I would have liked to have seen Wild Bill here rather than just attacking the strong point. And this is fine, you know... It, moving your way from here you know up this way is sort of a fine play i don't think it gets you much though it does certainly doesn't buy you any ground i'd like to have seen him attacked this way instead um and just try and move your infantry up and into their sector um would have been the would have been the nicer play you can see gem really is kind of just chilling in the backfield trying to be a bit of a nuisance trying to make sure that they can get everything set up this stage i'd like to see how squad sort of attack this direction and then or, or even come across the hill here just try and get those key features of terrain um because at the moment i don't really need where option squad is it's not entirely necessary it's nice don't get me wrong but you know, certainly could be doing more to help the rest of his team there. Of course, in my opinion. I could be wrong, of course. I am no expert. But 1 more 6, as I said, they're going to be quite happy holding, I think. I don't think they'll throw too much forward at this stage. And they'll be looking to sort of try and figure out where the weak point is in 8280. Where can they throw players into? It's certainly not... <laughs> It's certainly not this little corner of the intersection here where they've got a whole bunch of players streaming through. Big ricochet for tank there. Didn't see where the shell came from, which is interesting. But A2AD, they're, they're just going to lose control of gardens here. Um, which is, seems like a bit of a throw, to be honest with you. Maybe it'll pay off. Maybe they can sneak in through behind. But to be honest with you, the fact that you've got no one sort of anchoring this area, no one trying to press this road, well, I suppose you do have a little bit trying to press this road um, in God. But, I mean, having these three riflemen push through gardens is uh, is not good. Luckily, the garrison's offset a little bit. It's not tacked right up against the line, so they can, can, they can afford to lose a bit. But, I don't know, I'd be very, very worried about having absolutely nothing. Um, coming out of the gardens here, trying to make their way up this hill. They've got too much. These three outposts, not in the greatest of positions um, at this stage. And with Gelman going down to Kips, Kips, if he gets the MG here, should get a free shot of this garrison. And he does. Is he going to go for the garrison? No, he's just going to sit in the bush for a bit. And another spawn wave comes in. Doesn't manage to take full advantage of it. God goes down. Can't quite down, take down Hiko. And now Gelman and VNT are back in action as well. Kips does eventually go down. Couldn't quite take advantage of that moment there. There was sort of that just little moment in play. It's hard. You can't see it when you're down, uh, when you're playing. It's, it's not possible to know when that moment is. Um... But 8280 should now, at this stage, at least get momentary control back over um, this garden zone here um, in the center of our screen. 
Um, they've got to try and get control of this road. And in particular, I think they've got to try and get control of Dugout here. Dugout's going to be crucial. It stops say, uh, 116 from making their way through this zone here um, and taking gardens. Um, but also it allows them access into this backfield as well. Um, and if they can attack up this way, um, then they'll be able to really sort of stretch this uh, 116 um, a Western control and at least give them something to think about. This is such a wide map, though. It's hard to know where to look at times because um, there's so much happening all the way across the map. Um, it's pretty much full width fighting at this stage. Look where Baker Squad is. Look where Fox Squad is. It's full width of everything. And Bombard 6 even actually have managed um, to sniff out this H6 garrison, which is really interesting. Um, the fact that they caught that one, very, very nice indeed for them. Um, that's going to give them a bit more security. George Squad still um, awake and alive there. Um, so should focus on rebuilding that when they can. Um, Roger Squad there actually just died on the backside of Hamlet. And I, I don't like coming out of, uh, out of the action too much. I find it interesting that even back here, even on the backside of Hamlet, um, they're going to contest these recon squads. And the fact there's even a recon squad back here, actually, don't necessarily know the use of it, um, unless they are exceptionally proficient at finding garrisons. But, wow, see, look at this. This is the problem. You, you leave one area for a short period of time, and all of a sudden, all of these players from 116 have just started pressing through now. And they are taking every gap that they can. We should see Sanzu go down there. Vuk goes down as well as Kips from this uh, western side of it. Once again, E2 AD can't get control of gardens for any length of time here. And that pressure from 116 will pay off eventually, I think. They've even, well, they've, I say even, they have massively broken the center here at this stage. The tank's going to have to do good work. They're going to have to have this infantry really press through now. Um, they're going to need to get some massive trades uh, to recapture any of this land. Um, and 116 have, uh, I, well, they've just bought themselves so much space here. Um, and that's it. It was moments away from this area, and they've uh, they've really pressured through. A couple of tanks are in here from 82 AD. You can actually see while well, Bill's going to come in with the Stuart. He takes a turret shot there um, from maybe the Panzer IV. Can't quite tell what's up there on that hill. Doctor. Anyway, and he goes down having done no damage at all. Real shame. But that is the problem. 116 have got this uh, this fantastic um, hill advantage at the moment. And this infantry now is going to make it into cattle sheds here. You can see Deuce and Treeb is already up to this AT guard. It looks like he's going to put a satchel down on top of that. He does indeed. Guaranteeing that's going to go down. And they do not have too much in the point at this stage. Deucent Troop does go down, but gets traded out. Beaver Bang's still in there now. Um, A2AD have brought a couple more players back. But there is 116 players right on their doorstep now. Big explosion goes off on the AT gun. And flares are going out here for 82 AD, and they're going to see the danger that they are in because this front line has absolutely collapsed. You can see there is just, whoops, that's not what I wanted. There is just this sort of gaping hole here um, in the center of, uh, or in front of cattle sheds that they need to go and fill. And it's not a fun push. You can see any player trying to make their way through um, this hedge right here. Let me just show you. Look at what they've got to try and cross. That's fairly easy to hold for 116 players, I think, um, if they're going to try and make their way across this field here. Um, it's a little bit easier on this eastern side. I think you can use some of these wheat fields to your advantage, um, potentially, but 116 should be... I don't know if they've managed to get their outposts forward um, in that sort of mad scramble forward. I don't know whether an a, you know, a... Uh, too many SLs got through. Certainly one here. That's Cyrix. Does have an outpost forward. I think it's marked though. Thanks to the rockets from Dark Saber. I think they do know where it is. 
He did unfortunately just miss it. This is going to be a crucial trade here. One by Fleeder. Very nicely done indeed. As he looks to try and press forward now. Lots of players spawn it in. But this eastern side, they haven't quite got the control just yet. But they have certainly bought themselves a lot of time and space. And 82 AD, they're just getting bottled up here within gardens. They've got absolutely nothing going forward. Uh, one outpost um, in the red. That is it. Even the recon squad um, that was behind Hamlet has gone. And this is looking really, really dicey at this stage. Um, 482 AD. They do have three heavies up. That's going to be a big thing for them. If their tanks can just about hold on uh, against 116, then uh, they'll be... Mm, I say they'll be okay. It'll be a start at least. And big explosion goes off there. It looks like artillery is going to be dropping on top of this outpost. So it absolutely is marked. The squad's just going to get shredded by artillery. Sirix will probably keep spawning there. Still missing that rocket, buddy. Uh, just a little bit lower next time from Dark Saber will be good. Oh man, that just got shredded by uh, by gunfire at that stage. Not even artillery. Artillery seems to have actually moved, which is interesting. Not farming that that outpost. So lucky he's not interested in farming. That could be a bit of a mistake, maybe. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if that comes to anything. Let's take a quick look across our gardens. You know, again, back under temporary control of uh, 116. Um, There's a lot of infantry down here. It looks like, oh, we've got the triple tank repair, and this is just uh, defensive infantry. Um, Marsmic here um, on the back of that house. Taking plenty of cover here. Going to have great views um, down in towards cattle sheds here. Should be able to shred any infantry um, that come his way, such as Swellboy about to cross here. Peek him. Oh, he peeks. Marsmic. And there you go. That's why he's up there. That's the exact angle he's looking for. That's where he wants people to go. That's where he wants them to move. 116. I was a little bit concerned they didn't have anyone up here at five ways. They've, uh, they've just uh, dropped a few players back now um, at this point, which is lovely to see. I'm not going to lose total control of it. They have lost control of gardens, but again, 116 are right on the doorstep of it. And they're even actually, look... This is it. This is this is just methodical here from uh, from 116 as a push and probe, and they look to try and wrap up. They've uh, they've they've broken on this western side, got themselves some map control here. Got to try and get rid of cannon fodder, Bob, and and froggers um, on this western side, and then it's a bit of a free shot really to wrap up gardens. Um, however, uh, 116 again, like I said, they didn't take full um, advantage of the front door pressure. They didn't have too much going through. Um, and that's okay. I think they'll be they won't be too frustrated by that. Um, again, it's it's a methodical sort of pressure here. They're just looking to break through um, in different parts, different 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 sections of the map. Sal out there managing to deal with Tristan. So he managed to push out of uh, out of gardens there, which would have been a really nice play actually if he could have got some players warning in to attack um, this sort of section. But Salat was wise to it, having done his backfield duty. He's back to the meat grind, and now Phonix, PZ, and Schmal looking to just peek over the top of these hedges. Not gonna be an easy sight through here though. We haven't seen too much tank on tank action so far. These uh, eight two AD tanks, all of them. Um, behind the point, behind those front garrisons. And um, we've got one wide um, recon again. Yeah, pretty standard stuff. While Bill and, and Wobbegong there going in behind if they can. They're going to be looked to try and set up, find those garrisons and, and create those, uh, those little openings. But I think now, just being 35 minutes in, I think now is probably a decent little time to take a quick break. Let's take a quick look at the stats here. Um, we've got Trip Marsmic um, on that MG trip with that um, G43 there. Um, we've got Fleeder at 38, Tivrox, uh, Sir Lucky with the artillery there. Um, not too sure who's on uh, on one six artillery, um, but at the moment you can see at the top of the scoreboard here, Trip and Marsmic are, uh, are absolutely uh, doing work right now. Um, which is not not too much of a surprise, is it? Let's be honest. And um, the top back into the game. We'll be pleased to know that. 
Wild Bill did indeed make it into the backfield, actually, um, which is always good. And I think the stream has officially started. I hate this... Uh, I hate the 30 minute delay. Always frustrates me because I don't know what's going on. Don't get any feedback or anything. A little bit. Always uh, always a little bit tricky. But it looks uh, looks okay. Don't think anyone's complaining. Which is always good. Always what I like to see. Oh, and then the tank goes boom. Now, not sure what caught him there. Could be one of these. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Nah. Nah, it can't be that, can it? Oh, mate, I'll tell you what. It could be. That angle is there. I'm not sure. That's what I get for trying to make sure my stream's up and running and <laughs> and all's good. Um, always a little bit frustrating um, when you miss out on small bits of action. But alas, not much I can do. Now, what is, go what is going on here? What is this? It's just a supply truck chilling. Okay, alright. Easier access onto that roof, of course. Is that Feet Tony in a Panzer Four? Don't tell me this is the same one. It might well be, you know. It must just be running on HE by this point, you'd have thought. Um, but again, you know, they can they can use these tanks. They've got to use these tanks to, to push. Because um, it's going to stalemate at this point. 82 AD. Um, you know, they are getting wrapped up on this western side. They've got okay control out here on the east. But they've managed to get... Uh, Wobber gone into the backfield there, but I mean, quite frankly, um, I just don't think it's worthwhile, is it? I mean, he's not going to gain by them any map control. They've not been dropping supplies deep at all, and none of them have survived, so um, nothing they can they can kickstart with there. Um, I'm going to go check out um, this uh, this western side here, because it does look like they are slowly making their way through. We do have a couple of players out here. Looks like Froggers is still chilling out here. Still battling away to try and get them control. Probably a dugout is his ultimate goal here. Um, all on six now. Looking to try and make their way around the outside here. Players popping up. See what they see. Always good to know. So they can see a bit of a concentration. They know where these, uh, these players are. That is the power of these frontline flares. Now, what do we got here? Is that Siege? Trying to, he's trying to make something happen, isn't he? He's uh, hes looking to try and get something going. He might well have taken down that one tiger already, and he's now sensing the opportunity um, to go for it a little bit. Might not have any other tank marks on the map. And he is just going to go shred <laughs> his infantry spawning in here. Now, two players go down in quick succession from 116. Hopefully, can they make this pay? Does, will Siege get a mark onto Cav? Because Cav is just chilling in this Lux in an open field. Uh, it's just a little solo turret. I mean, I love it. I mean, why not? If it's if it's one of the free ones, I think it's totally worthwhile um, getting some use out of it. Siege is going to back off. No infantry support for him just yet. But we're seeing so many good uses of flares here um, from 116. Uh, sorry, from 82 AD, it's, uh, it is really nice. This 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 front line uh, front line flare, Mr. Sunshine, is doing a lot of very very good work here. Now we can see Wobbegon's getting into the, right into the rear of uh, of a network. I wonder if he's actually on top of a garrison here. Not quite. They know he's here though. He's triggering something. He's having to play it patient. And get a view onto Salat, surely. And he's right there, behind the tree. This is peak hell at least comp right here. This is this is this is brilliant. Oh, and he does win the trade very nice indeed. Manages to get there in the end, but that is hell at least comp in a nutshell, quite frankly. I had that fantastic, uh, really good clip uh, not long back actually. Of um, can't remember who it was. I think it was a refuse and a one one six player, and it was probably the last time I streamed. Actually, was that um, where they uh, they just sat for like two minutes doing sod all? And well, the medium tank charge in the the center of the map was interesting. Doesn't quite do anything. Feet Tony was there, but he gets mopped up by uh, by rockets to the front from Caffey. That's uh, 
Oh, that's the way it goes, isn't it, sometimes, unfortunately. Now, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a tank actually sit inside a garden, so I'm going to be honest with you. It's a weird, it's an interesting place to go. I feel like you'd be very susceptible to, to satchels in here. I don't think you've got much vision. But hey, you know, what do I know, right? I'm no tanker. 116. They've got to commit a bit more into, into gardens here, I think. If they can they can just hold elsewhere for just a short bit of time, really stamp control over gardens. So difficult to claim back for the uh for the allies. So difficult for them to be able to make their way back into this area. And with this, you know, they can just control so much of the front line, really. Now big explosion down below. Let's take a quick peek at this. Was this another Oof, 76, 76, yeah. Went down, can't quite see what's killed him back there. That's the truck, it certainly isn't that one, but... Yeah, it's not... It was looking okay for the uh, the 82 AD tankers. It's still okay, they're just playing passive. There's just two of them left. Uh, and quite frankly, I mean, it's, not, it's looking pretty bleak for them at this stage. They're slowly, just over time, losing ground on this eastern side here. Uh, that might be what 116 have just favoured to try and get control of at this point. Um, a peace strike. Well, siege goes down. Oof, I tell you what. It hit. It just didn't do enough damage. Got to get both rockets to hit as far as I'm aware. Um, onto, uh, onto a 76 to kill it from the, uh, from the Stuka. Um, doesn't manage to, but siege went down. This is now their only remaining tank. That could have been perfect timing. Um, to uh, to take that down, and you can see now front line starting to collapse here. They haven't got much uh, in this uh, this very very middle, um, and both of these garrisons now are hot and looking a little bit a little bit spicy out there. There's a big spawn wave down here actually from uh, from 116. Say big three players, whatever. Get over it. I'm always going to exa over exaggerate as much job. But it's in such a naughty little spot because they're going to be able to get those uh, those additional angles. And this is where it gets tricky for 82 AD. If they win too many of these trades, uh, 116, they will pressure it. And they will pressure the garrison from behind. But so far, Dark Saber is going to town here on a bit of a spree. The help of God. God goes down to Big L. The impossible angle to, to push this. Oof. Almost. Oh, Big L dies to bleeding, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, another player just went down there, which is interesting. Oh, it could well have been uh, could well have been Sanzu, I suppose. And um, getting a shot onto the chest. Potentially, but now McForks is uh is the one, but they've still got this outpost gods trying to repressure it. Really, they're, they're so close to this garrison at this point. It's only going to take them getting a mark, I think, before they start chucking rockets at it. Won't be long, and they're killing, <laughs> they're killing the commander on top of it. I don't think this uh, this garrison is long for this world, is it? Sanzu's left. He goes down so quick. They managed to wipe the outpost, get onto the garrison. MG's gone. And the garrison's gone as well. And now, will they make them pay with this? Let's take a quick look over towards cattle sheds, because I see um, contest coming in. There's just not a lot on the map, quite frankly, from uh, from one, or from 82 AD. Massive spawn wave in the center circle. That's not going to be good. If the tanks are up and the tanks are pushing, um, they should surely catch these, uh, these squad leaders, no? No, not going to... I was expecting to see some splashes in here. There's the artillery. Expecting to see a few tank shots coming in, but trip the hell in a bush, getting the kills. Doesn't need to stand up. Standing up's overrated. See, as soon as he did, he died. Just needs to crawl everywhere. You can see they know where this tank is here. Um, from Garoni, PKX, and Vuk. It's right on the doorstep. Rockets are not going to kill it in the side, buddy. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not, it's not the one. And all the front either. Now, 
I think that's uh, Lucky's artillery for 82 AD dropping on the doorstep, probably just assuming they've got an outpost in the same space um, as they did before. Not as yet that I can see, or right now at least. But I do have infantry nearby. Let's take a bit of a wider view. We haven't visited this, uh, this eastern side of the map recently. Garrison's still up. Star Lord's around the back. They've got no, they've actually got a garrison markup. Is that accurate? Well, no, actually, funnily enough, it's not, but it's it's close, it's in the vicinity of it. Um, not great if you're trying to rocket snipe that one, to be honest with you, and they absolutely should be um, trying to snipe that. There is the angle there from cattle to get those rockets across. They kind of just have to, uh, you know, stay alive long enough. Now, the crucial fight, I think, is going to be between the tanks here. Uh, if they can, they need to pick off Garoni's tank. That's going to be crucial. But he's in. Well, he's sort of bunkered up a little bit here behind this hedgerow. I'd like to see them get a, a rep station um, far forward here for him. That would be very, very nice indeed. But at this stage, Haber. Well, he's taking shots, but they've managed to push it. Gelman's pushed across as well. But he gets absolutely annihilated immediately. I appreciate everyone following at this stage. I love the fact that Reformed subscribed before he uh, before he followed. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a massive fan of that, to be honest with you. But cat pressure coming in now at cattle. Again, it's just all sort of sector control. If I take a look at the map, I would bet that, yeah, they've just got nothing really going on um, in uh, in E4. Um, they've lost all, all control of that at this stage. Garrison's going to go down. And that's going to... Well, it should just allow them to push all the way through. I think it's an interesting supply drop. They might build a garrison here, I suppose. If they uh, if they build it tucked up against this, it's not actually the worst location for one. Um, they could certainly control 100 meters away from it pretty easily. Um, but yeah, this western side is is getting pretty pretty well wrapped up, and and siege is actually having to help out with the tank. Ugh. I'll tell you what. If I'm a 116 player and I see a tank out here, I would be fuming okay with it because actually it's going to be you know just shows that actually you're just causing them so much uh, so many problems now strafe and run comes in that's the problem with the strafe and run is it doesn't actually hit the hedgerow so I might have killed one player with that I'm not too sure not great though smoke landing interesting is that artillery smoke it doesn't look like artillery smoke does it it might be I might be going mad. They changed it. And I just never bothered to relearn. But Cat Pressure comes in. <laughs> oh, Cat Pressure comes in at AA Network. Because they got the garrison up. Jem doing what he does. Got him behind. Built that garrison. Massive spawn wave comes in. How many squad leaders is that? Is that three of them? Oh, guys. Guys, this is a, this is a bit of a classic move. This is almost sort of like Update 6 style. Dropping a garrison in behind. Now they've responded quickly, it seems, uh, with players coming back in. But the outposts are here. Fill them up, guys. Fill them up, surely. Get the marks on the tanks. Oh, they know Phonics is here. Because they've got a rooster coming with a satchel now. I wonder if Phonics will have spotted this. He's moving forward and turning. Not too sure. I don't think he has seen it just yet. He's too focused in on the front. Is a rooster going to get the satchel? Oh. They start driving forward at just the right time. The rooster's there. Oh, he's going to get run over. No, he gets run over. There is... is that, are they going to have noticed that? Well, they know they've been satcheled. Turret turns. They know the point is in danger. That could be crucial satchel there for Rooster. Phonic tops out. He's got an idea. But that is placed so far under. There's no... Yep, he can't see it. And Phonic thinks he's clean. But little does he know. He's just been satcheled. And now Feet Tony is going to just dive into this point, I think. Now 116 have recovered so, so well here. Um, they were in a lot of danger here. George still does not have their outpost up. 
bot jack, come on, buddy. Neither does dog by the looks of things, unless he's tried to put it in the point and it's gone down already, but... Now, 116 have actually just dived their tanks backwards into their own point, and that's... Well, surely the AT-OED can buy all this time. Surely they can get themselves so much ground here. Now, bombing run lands. <laughs> Defensive bombing run from 116. On to AA Network. Well, oh, they've actually cleared out so many players. Oh, I actually think it, that was enough. They should be able to wipe that outpost there. Yeah, McForks does indeed. They've got one more down here. The splash from the tank does the job. And Dan's trying to satchel him. He's on top. Surely they noticed him. He's got the satchel on Dan. <laughs> That's Dan. It. Manages to get the kill, but they've got to check him for satchels. They're on top. Yeah, they found it. They're going to they're gonna triple remove the satchel. And they will stay alive. Feet Tony. It is quick off the mark there. Um, and Garoni here has retreated all the way back. This is nice. Retreated all the way back. They're going to look forward. They're not going to let uh, 82 AD buy too much uh, land, I don't think. But that is very, very nice from 116 to recover that. Very, very nice indeed. Super quick. Now, can 82 AD make any of this count? That's going to be the real question. You can see here Wild Bill's running from HQ. Which is interesting, because they do actually have a, a free spawn tank there. Which I kind of expect him to get. Um, Clicker's tank is right next to a hot garrison. They just cleared it? I think they've just cleared it with a shell, yeah. But, I mean, that tells you 116 are all the way back there. Uh, for just a brief moment, that was very, very scary for, for 116, I think. But they recovered so quick. The moment that they started capping, the call was made by Stanner, I think. Um, and they uh, they recovered so, so well. I suspect they might have an idea that they've come from this eastern side again. You'd have thought they should know to go check the uh, the old spot that they've built. Um, uh, but they just need to, they need to get something back into gardens. Because otherwise, they are going to suffer. Uh, very much going to suffer this one. Let's take a look across. Well, I suppose the front line. I mean... It's all a bit very messy, isn't it? But the, the squad leaders that stayed forward kept their outposts. Ah, yeah, look at the charge. Oh, even the tank's coming back. Is that going to be Garoni? I wonder if that's Garoni making the charge back forward. Taking a quick sip of water. I would have preferred it to have been whiskey or a rum. Alas, blow a look there. Solo in the P4. Always nice to see. Is Mars Mick back in his MG spot? I can hear an MG. No, he's not. Oh, there we go. It's uh, not a BOACE. Don't know how you pronounce it. But he's basically just suppressing anything inside that point, isn't he? That's that's his idea. Is he going to start shooting again? Yep. Yep, he's just basically suppressing the front of, uh, of Cattle Sheds, trying to be an absolute nuisance with the MG. And he's pretty much free to do so. There's not much they can do to counter him because there's no one, no one anywhere near him. So, Blau Luke's pushed his tank all the way forward. Garoni's pushed forward as well. Uh, we have players mixed in here. All very messy down here. Um, but 116 will be quite happy with that, I think. Because 82 AD have got to methodically check all of these zones, make sure there's no outpost left. Until they do that, there's not much uh, not much attacking they can do again. Now, Blauer Luke is just protected from this uh, this 76 Siege. He is actually going to look to try and peek him. But of course, he's got his bigger brother, the Tiger, back here. Now, shots are going in at Siege. They haven't quite managed to tag him just yet. They, they were shots from far, though. But they know where he is. You can see that gun turret. He's looking straight at him. They must have caught him, actually, with something. Because he's out triple repping. Now, this is what I, I would love to see. Just I drop artillery on it. Come on. Call the artillery in where you think that tank might be. Take out some of these, uh, these crewmen. It just slows them down so much. Another shot goes in and catches this 76. And they get in to try and drive it away. Oh, but little do they know. Are they going to get caught by this tiger? 
No, oh, not quite. They are. <laughs> they are desperately trying to get away. They actually strafed it. They were trying to kill that those uh, those tank crewmen. I, I like to see plays like that. I do. And at the moment, we've got munitions to spare in this this one artillery meta. So you know, strafe runs. They they can have a use. That's for sure. Oh man, this seventy six is living a charmed life right now just escaping but man he is not having a good time at all now he's going to get backed up here uh, by broman who we actually haven't seen too much of here uh so far in this game there was an explosion there not sure where from yeah we haven't seen too much from broman so far oh wow jesus siege buddy i'm so sorry getting rocketed in the back Engine must be gone on this uh, this 76. Alpox man, just uh, just redeploy. Get yourself some more rockets. Get rid of this tank. Because it is pretty much the only thing left out here. Look at this. AE2AD are just in desperate situation now. Players knocking on the front door of cattle. Tanks surrounding you. There is not a lot left in this um, 482 AD. Now, that was an explosion on the main road there. Looks like... Oh. I thought it was the tiger. What's the tiger? What the fuck just killed the tiger? Eh? Ah. Not entirely sure. I mean, certainly, he got killed by infantry, but... The fuck just killed the tiger? Answers on a postcard. Was it you? Do you have an angle? I think you've got an angle. I don't know. Whatever the fuck killed you, I don't know. Not seeing any AT guns or anything up here. They're looking to try and get control back here again while Bill's going to go deep again with Cold Stand Gem. I think they've kind of realised they need to get something going. Chain Eel as well, actually. Um, in a transport truck to go on wide, we've got... Rooster back here. We got a terrible supply drop there. Uh, not not useful whatsoever. Um, the Rooster's managed to get himself wide. Froggers is looking to go wide as well. But I mean, look, look, come on, guys. There is there is very very little point. Let's just let's go back to let's go back to hell at least basics for a moment here. Look, look, that's your that's your sector control. What do you as eighty two AD actually have control of? This. I don't think you've got control of that. You, there's no garrison there to, to suggest control. Let's take a quick peek at it. Do you have control of that? Well, not massively, because there's a squad leader coming up onto it. And it is uh, the legendary Muckschnapper. It's good to see him back playing, guys, isn't it? It's nice to see him back playing. Having his kill stolen by Kadabba. Fuck you, Kadabba. Well, you're going to have a moment there. I hope his German lessons are going down well, though. He should know what a uh, should know what a Garni is, and uh, you know he should be able to say Panzer um, as well. Oh, much snapper a squad leader, just doing work now as he pushes his way through. And see, they don't even have control of of E three at this stage. They haven't got control of of F three. They certainly they've got fucking nothing in uh, in, in E and F four. So, what map control do you really have? Not a lot, and. Take a quick look on that eastern side. Who's not here anymore? That would be Wild Bill and his recon tank. That has just not paid off for them so far this game. They had a bit of a scare where Jem managed to get around, but I think he walked it. I think he walked, built this garrison here, and then walked here and built this garrison. Um, but at this point, look at this. 116 are... Well, they're in their pressure, and at this point, we see Clicker back here. We see Siege as well. Broman looks like he went down at some stage. Is not looking ideal. Broman back there waiting for the uh, the 76 and pressure onto the barn is already happening with that hot, gar hot garrison there. Jeez, words, please. Don't fail me now. Contest comes in at Cattle. It's only temporary though. This does not look good for 82 AD at all here. 116 showing. 
Uh, when they want to, they'll just press at the right time and, and they'll take you down. Merc Zapper has made so much ground up here. They've got one outpost on the edge of this point here. King Squad, but look at the rest of the map. What are they, like, you know, they're set up for recap, I understand. Um, but, I mean, it's not looking ideal, is it? It is not looking good. Uh, 116 have just got plays absolutely everywhere. They have... Oh, they've got total control over the entirety of the four line here. They've they've uh, they've done so well um, just to, just to steal that from uh, from eighty two AD. We just saw an outpost go down just below us here as well. That would be its Wale there below, and that's the signal for the reset. Let's see how eighty two AD do on this eastern side's reset. Okay. Prep and George have got their outposts back up. Baker as well. The Gat's going to go a little bit further, it seems. Um, the tank's going to have to hold this front line, and they've managed to get G2 again, so that's always useful. Let's take a quick look at the barn. It's very rare I get to see fighting over this point, to be honest with you. Um, does it look like 116 snuck anything into the Mac? They managed to... Uh, 8280 managed to hold that one off, but they're going to be throwing everything forward now, and it'll be interesting to see how 116 react to that. See an explosion just down below. Oh, it's another 76 going down. Oh, these the tankers are not having a good day today. 116 are just having a field day with their tanks, I think. I don't know how many they've actually lost. It certainly isn't many, I don't think. But there's the wide panning shot for cattle sheds. Tell me, tell me, tell me, how are they gonna cap this back? It's not a fun direction to push cattle sheds from. We take a quick zoom in. Let's have a look how we might recap this. Obviously, you've got to try and get something through the front door. But your front door, well, other than the fact that your medium tanks just died, but that's Wild Bill again in the medium, taking those uh, taking those free ones, um, you know, is a wheat field, which is pretty shit. you got to try and get control over this area here as well to get behind. So you've got to try and get control of break or battery. Sorry, Breakout Manor, um, which they have not managed to do all game. And of course, you need to try and get control of this eastern side, who have fed the best um, uh, uh, sort of holding off 116, I think. They've done a they've done an admirable job here. Um, but, I mean, at this stage, the, the 116 sort of assault teams, those meat grind units, they'll be starting to pressure this eastern side a little bit more, I would have thought. Um, and Sugar Squad is going to look a little bit more dicey as time goes on. As Novas from 116 starts to pressure on Bofrost as well. They've got a look. Look how many squad leaders they've just transitioned out here. Kalyon's out here still. And we've got Bofrost. We see Novas is out here. We've got a recon unit. Even just out here, we see another squad leader. And squad leaders just suggest that they can they can transition players in very, very quick. It, you know, no time at all um, to be able to do that. Oop, a little bit of lag as I tabbed back in. The server is running terribly, by the way. But, all quiet out here. 82 AD are going to just try and hold this front door. They really don't have a lot, though, do they? One, one more second. Surely, guys, come on. Why are we not? Come on, guys. Guys, there is land you can absolutely take here. You, there, you can absolutely go for this. I know there's a couple of players holding it. Dark Saber's here with his MG. Tristan's here. Other than that, come on, there isn't a lot. A couple of artillery shells on the on the front of this would, uh, would solve the problem. Marsmic has got himself a nice little angle out here. Probably aiming through to this area, I would imagine. Maybe trying to get anything on on the on top of this. There is an AT gun up there from Huzu. There is a nice angle, but oh look, Mark Schmatman knows. Like Snapper does know he's gonna try and press that front door. It's what he does best, unfortunately. Um his uh is just WK his way through. Should be uh should be good to go there. Just get taken down, but I think he's got his outpost up. He uh, he'll go try and take that land out on this western side now. 
five one six is slowly making their way forward. It's not it's not a great area to push, to be honest with you. I'd like to see them maybe not just all run the same side of the hedgerow, <laughs> if I'm honest. They have got a garrison here, but um, I would like to see them maybe, you know, anyone, literally anyone has it. Please, Gibbs, one of you. Please, please go this other side of the hedgerow, maybe. Zekart often's controlling the road. Oh, maybe Syrix will do it. Yeah, Syrix is going to look to go for this side of the, the hedgerow. There you go. Leave MG to, to cover that road. You'll be absolutely fine. God is... Oh, bless him. Yeah, he was not in a good spot there. Syrix went down um, as, we see, uh, as we see Big L pressing that side of the hedgerow now, looking to cover off the front door. You can see Big Smoke Pusher coming out of Muck Snapper's squad. And they are... Again, I said they can take this ground that's there for them. They should abuse it as much as possible because I think 116 will be putting a lot of pressure through this sort of corridor here. 82 AD will put a lot of stock into holding it as well. Look how many outposts they've got sort of focused on this eastern side um, between the two points. Um, this central land is there. It's certainly there for the taking. Tristan can't make it through the Wheatfield to Doom. That is the problem with them. This Wheatfield's pretty grim. You know, you go far enough away, they just stop rendering. But they've managed to get all the way up here. Zorf is gonna satchel it. That should take down that outpost. Ah, Max Snapper will just do it anyway. It doesn't matter. But the satchel's up. If they die, it'll clean up anything left. A, there is a squad leader in the in the Wheatfield, Slavic. Um, probably, probably not too pleased uh, that he's just been uh, been isolated. Like Snapper goes down, Zorf gets the trade though. Two of them go down, and oh, this is this is looking really, really bad at the stage. Satchel goes off, finishes the AT guy in there. They've still got a couple of outposts left, um, so that's not too bad for them. And are we seeing another tank getting? Oh yeah, has that just been decrewed? Oh. oh, yeah, that 76 is, uh, has got no one left in it. Oh. Uh. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's another tank gone. I think that one went down to infantry, though. Look, they've broken down this uh, this western side here. Now, the problem for 116 is they can't quite... I don't think they'll be able to wrap up as well as they would want to just because of this western pressure. They'll have to... They have to focus in. They'll have to make sure they're not using this uh, this HQ too much. Um, but yeah, I th certainly think the next twenty minutes we'll see a slow grind here from uh, from one one six forwards. Let's take a quick dive down into this, shall we? had a couple of pings. I'm always conscious when I'm streaming that people try and ping me for certain things. Often. I can't see the chat either at this point. Uh, 30 minute delay. Not ideal. I mean, I can't respond to anything. But, oh, decent trade there. Wow, okay. Oh, they're uh, putting a lot out here to hold this uh, this open field. you just got to hold it. You know, very rarely push this. Let 116 push it if they want to, but I mean, since up there is, uh, yeah, he's going to do some good work, I would have thought. Stopping any sort of major push coming through. Click is starting to make his way forward. They should have a mark on that now. Kalion should have seen that. They should know that he's coming, but does he know that he's actually going to be pushing? Oh, okay. It's just a little recon tank and a, and a tiger. I thought it was uh, thought it was Panzer IV from uh, from the distance, but first shot actually goes in onto the tiger. Fantastic little angle they found on that one. But he's going to back up into relative safety at this stage. Shouldn't be anything down that road uh, to hurt them. So they're just going to keep backing up. Might back themselves up back into the angle. No, they'll be okay. They'd have to they'd have to back all the way up to here. And that tiger, so that 76 would have to have eagle vision to do so. So technically, this angle's here for them. There's no way they're going to be able to see him, though. 
And they'll just wrap this tiger up nice and easy. They're dropping our e smoke here, so they're dropping artillery now at this stage in this zone. I'd like to see them again use the artillery for for utils purposes, right? If I could hit this tank, you know where it is. You know it's in this area, right? So I guess maybe that's the latest mark they've got. They don't know it's backed up. The comms should be there to say it's backed up, though. So, tricky one. It's a tricky one, I'll admit. But they're going to look to try and get eyes onto that 76. I don't think their tank is too happy with uh, the exact location of it. What is this? Garoni. But you're not in a tank, so you get yourself up there. Now, Andre, I don't think he's going to look up. Oh, no, he is. He knows. He knows. Fair play. But he can't move. Can't get anywhere. Because he, as soon as he does, he goes down. And they should wrap up on the outside of this VNT court. Looking the wrong way. Do some treeb now. Spot spot jet gets him down with a headshot. He's going to know there's something out that way. There was cat pressure on cattle sheds. Look at this massive push from the rear here. We will catch up on that one in just a moment. I want to see if Deuce and Treeb finds this outpost in time. Ooh. Ooh. It's a long time waiting for that spawn. There we go. And he does. Ah, lovely, lovely. Let's go catch this big old spawn wave back here. Um, sell that. He doesn't even need to move, I don't think, does he? No, he, he should just chill out, pluck the air, uh, pluck the spawn on it. It's up against Gem. Never an easy uh, opponent to play against. And he manages to grab him, and the outpost goes down as well. So this, uh, this garrison should be live again, and look at the amount of players streaming through. Fill these outposts, boys. Fill them. Come on. Come on, get the infantry going north. Leave Gem to this backfield. Oh, actually, that's KLA coming back. Has managed to take down Gem. But they're capping. They're capping cattle. They're capping cattle, having essentially... Well, I don't know. They've they've managed to get Dog Outpost up. He actually... Is that Slavic guy? It is. He managed to stay alive. Fair play to him. Oh, oh no. It's too easy. It's too easy for them. Caffey takes down that garrison. They had the mark on it. He knew. And uh, and they take it down. And that's a lot of that good pressure might... Well, it's not going to be too sustainable at this point now. They might cap cattle. They do have uh, ridiculous control of this. Um, but they didn't manage to grab this uh, cheeky little garrison here uh, in the bush. There's some MG fire coming from somewhere. Hello? It's not this MG, is it? Maybe it is. Maybe it is Kenda. Well, oh, I'm on six. I still got all the map control, so they should. A to E, they can cap this. But I think the recap will be pretty swift. Seriously, fucking hell, dude. They keep shooting rockets at the front of these tanks, and, you know, funnily enough, none of them have died. None of them. Not a single one has died to a rocket in the front. Which is weird, right? Very odd. Now, cat pressure should stall if they can get a reinforce down. There's not too much in here from uh, from 8280. They're going to need to be quick on the garrison. So you're going to have to be quick to get players pushing back out. And there's a stall from 116. Like I said, if they can get the reinforce placed, there isn't too much in this from 8280. And that Lux is, wow, doing work. My wow, is doing work. But they've bought this front line. They've bought all this space in the front. This is the crucial thing, is they should be able to just push players through this front door now. But I think they're going to get pressed from behind here at Cattle. They're going to need to do a lot of work here to hold them back. Syrix now... Can't save his tank. Does take down Hiko in the end. Yeah, Star Lord shouting, get in cap sector. Oh, mate. Look, when you're seeing shit like this, <laughs> uh, the map control is not ideal. Oh, Gaffson's up at A and Network. Don't tell me, 82 AD. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. That would be unbelievable. Wobbegon, if you can. You've got that one up. You've just got to get this one up now. That would be 
incredible. I can get a couple more, uh, I can get just a couple more kills at cattle. They can shove them out of sector. Because right now, it's not looking good at cattle. It's just being contested, being capped now by 116. That outpost is doing all of the work. Have they 10 man that outpost? I'm sorry, I'm. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Mark Snapper actually picks his outpost up. He wasn't happy with the placement. That's a man on the on details. He thought that was uh, two two meters too close to that hedgerow. Cat pressure comes in at cattle. Oh, and you can fucking see why. <laughs> God fucking damn it! <laughs> and they've got no one here. <laughs> Guys, fill up, fill up those squads in cattle. Why is there any infantry? Like, what is? Why is Dan? Why is Tivrox? Why is Tetris? And Jekyll spawned on the garrison. <laughs> Why? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, and then Rap just manages to take down the garrison up against VNT, who's got no idea where Rap is now. Couldn't save the garrison. VNT does win the trade, though, but. Where are the tanks? Yep. Yeah. Siege is going to dive in. Wobbegon's trucking his way over. They've already found this garrison and locked it out. Just small moments, isn't it? It was just the fact that they've got no... Okay. They've got no map control over Cal. And it's that going to... Like, look. There's only, like, three people in there. And it's not even going to kill... I'm not even going to kill the main... Outpost there. I mean, luckily for them, Longs has managed to do it. I think he killed two there. Picked up a couple of trades and uh, wiped the outpost, I think. That's the main pressure gone at Cal? Maybe? Not too sure. Bobby we around lamps, though, and it's just. It's only going to kill friendlies. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's. Uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. But. Garrison's come alive again. Again, why is Jekyll spawn on a fucking garrison? Spawn on outposts, man. I swear to god, if I check Cal's squad, if that's not full. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, okay. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Hal's squad is full. I will accept that, that's okay, but one one six now are just streaming forward again, because again they've just got no map control. I tell you what, long oh, Major Mouse here is having to defend this outpost for his life, because he is totally surrounded. But that's a big explosion back there. Was that a tank going down? That's a 76. 76. Not sure what he died to, actually. Must be a tank somewhere. Can't tell. Couldn't tell you what it died to, I'm afraid. But, yeah, looking at the map here, I mean, they're coming in from this northwestern side here now. Uh, there's just two riflemen. Oh, they do have a squad lead. There you go. It's Boto. Boto Rock is, uh, is coming down. Looking to try and not get gunned down by whatever is making its way forward. Another 76 by the looks of things, Broman. But that outpost could be crucial if he can get it close to the point after this bombing run now. They're just so bottled up in here. There's no map control at all. It doesn't even feel like there's like uh, a plan to get it. I like George. I like the, I like what George Squad's done there. Bot Jack's got his outpost up, trying to get control of gardens, um, but he, he just lost out on a couple of crucial trades, and that'll be the end of that one. Oh, even the MG fires now just coming in at it. Cult wipes the outpost. Job's done there. They've got control back of uh, of gardens at this point. But geez, look, there's no control of anything. Does Boto Rock still have his outpost up? I assume he does somewhere back here. And this is the problem. You know, again, like I was kind of saying earlier, what what of this <laughs> cap sector do they have control of? And what is their plan to get it back? Uh, you know, they're, they're, they're basically fighting to, to lose 3-2 at this point. Um, which is nuts, really, if you think about it. You know, you... you they're not really playing to 
to win this one by the looks of things. Uh, I'd like to see them, yeah, I'd like to see them again, you know, just be quicker on these garrisons, get something built up here by Jig. Um, you know, the Gat squad's getting, well, they're getting attacked out here already as well. Garrison behind's hot. Um, you know, get yourself like a garrison here or something and just allow yourself like a squad leader to just press this. Once you get control of this, you can then press down and you can get control of this. You see, you can see how it can sort of spill out into good map control. How has a garrison just gone down next to a tank? I don't know. I don't know. But Medini there has managed to do so. He's ripped down the, uh, the back garrison. Don't forget that's... Uh, you know, a minute takedown or whatever it is. 76 is running away from an FG-42. And I've just heard an explosion back here. That was a rocket going into a truck, I think. And so, yeah, they've got... one with six basically just toying with them in this backfield now. You can see, is that Boto Rock? Yeah, Boto's back there just got to stay alive just be a nuisance is not giving them not allowing them any sort of map control Stuart goes down the map edge and uh and the left with uh with 276s again with broman and uh in clicker and uh ungodly levels of uh, infantry inside a cattle you know, it's it's tricky. 116 is such a good team. There's so little that really 82 AD could have done here um, to counter the... There's obviously ways. There's more you can do. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, deep dive what they could have done, but they ju there's just very little focus on uh, on getting this map control. And there's no there's no focus on capping with map control either. I love the fact that the, the garrison down in, in D6 is still alive. I'm going to go check this out because it's locked. I, I, I think it's just locked by, by KLA, to be honest with you. Because it's just down. It's just down here. Oh, it's locked by, by Feet Tony, actually, I think. Um, Siege saying two out of three tank comms are down. Mm. Yeah, it's not good. How is the Kamara? <laughs> the garrison's come live, watch. Watch in about 30 seconds, we're going to see a big old spawn wave back here, I think. KLA should get picked off pretty quick in that, I think. Unless they lock it. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, this is going to be interesting to see. Are they going to do a big spawn wave back here? Yep. Yep. And then KLA goes down immediately. One shot, one kill. Yeah, you know, you just know. Well, Bill spawned in his infantry. Again, I don't get it. Jekyll, I don't get it. Rebellion, yeah, I'm not. It's not for me. And immediately, they get cap pressure in at cattle, which is enough to start capping it. You know, again, I like the fact that they're going out towards here. They, you know, this is good. You can buy yourself some map control, guys. The point isn't to to get AA network off of you know this. The the point is to get yourself like that sort of section of of ground, right? That's what you're actually looking for. Because otherwise you come into situations like this where you just charge at the point and you can get the trades, yeah, lovely, uh, with a little bit of comms, but then now they, now they just know where you're coming from. Now they just know. That's another big spawn wave again, isn't it? Yep. Um, and this is, this is the, they're basically trying to cap race them, right? This is, this is pub 101, really. Not saying 82 of you are a pub team. They're, they're far better than that and... You know, they've they've held out against 116 very, very well um, up against this sort of tidal wave of, uh, of 116 players attacking them, but they're basically trying to just uh, initiate a cap race. But I think 116 have, uh, have dealt with those, you know, they've had two opportunities to deal with them. They've dealt with one very well at, at AA Network where it really counted. Um, they did all right initially at Cattle Sheds uh, to staunch the flow, but... Um, there was just too much in there at that stage. Lovely. And the Gat Squad, Gem, has got themselves a garrison here, here. And this is this is massive. Please, someone, send anything just across um, just across this sort of line. You know, try and try and push something here. Um, and if you can then pince around, get Jig Squad wider and, and come in and, and get yourself the, the front door territory, that'd be lovely. But 
Oh, I think they're just going for the cap brace with uh, with just six minutes to go. They've got to cap this. They've got to start capping it within four minutes. Now's the time for one of those light tanks to go nuts. Oh, and Wobbegong has got the other side. He's got the garrison. He's done it. And that is going to be crucial, I think. If they, oh, they need to flip like a squad leader out here. Even one squad, one squad leader out here would be huge. They've got pressure from the west now. They've got pressure from the south if they can get um, Hal squad um, uh, with his uh, with his outpost up. And then, you know, maybe they can actually break through the front because 116 uh, haven't a massively retreat. Let's take a look. Let's get out of our map and, and watch this one now because 116 are flooding through, but there's the big spawn wave. This is what I was talking about, boys. This is what I wanted to see. I don't like the fact that Gem's there. Um, I, I'd like to hear him, seen him um, keep control of gardens or something. You know, something a bit more traditional. But 116 have massively retreated here. It could pay off for 116 this uh, this big attack from uh, A2AD because they are starting to cap cattle. They might have overcommitted here. But A2AD are throwing everything they've got at this now. Oh, look, look, this is this is what map control does for you, right? Okay. How did they get infantry here? Well, it's because they've got garrisons out here. And so they can just easily, you know, make their way through. They've called out the Panzer IV up on God Hill. Uh, from Dan, they know this garrison's down here. I think they've uh, even managed to clear it at this stage. It's all now just, uh, just outposts. Um, but what map control gives you is the fact that they were able to spawn, you know, somewhere out here. It doesn't matter really where. And then just work their way across this hill and they've got control of five boys now. And they'll feel fairly comfortable with that. They've got a tank giving you, um, you know, suppression onto these squads to make it very difficult for them to maneuver. Um, they had squads able to spawn and somewhere out here um, and pressure back towards AA network. And look, now they can just turtle up a little bit. Hold off, uh, hold off in the background here. And um, Wobbegon's asking for for supplies for more red zone garrisons, but quite frankly, I don't think. You know, well, we'll see. We'll we'll see how this airhead goes. This is the old classic, uh, classic combo. Exactly where is this landing? Right there. Right next to Kips. Now, Kips may not actually know it's there. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because whatever tank is paying attention has managed to deal with that look. Doctor. Doctor and his tank. I can't remember who... Was it? Hang on. Someone... Someone remind me. Was it Feet Tony, the tank commander, for this tank? And he's now just simping his own tank. But not his tank commander, but his engineer. I'm vet... I'm very confused. Don't quite know what's happened there, but the airhead play, yeah, it, you know, you can go for it. It's it's one of those last ditch efforts. They've actually managed to break through on this eastern side very nicely indeed, but look at cattle sheds, guys. It's going down. The tanks are not going to hold this, I don't think. They're getting rocketed into the rear. That's only a medium, isn't it? So it's going to go down to two uh, two rockets. And it does indeed. Cadaver does the job. Uh, Colstad trying to save it. Broman with his, uh, his 76 is uh, desperately trying to to save this. And I think they will defend. They'll lose 3-2. And that's an admirable score for them. It's a shame that they weren't able to capitalize on that ending there. If they'd have just been a little bit quicker on this sort of this eastern garrison, maybe, just maybe, but the real problem they faced was the fact that they just didn't clear out anything between the points. It forced them back at cattle. They couldn't full commit into to AA network, and that's the real big shame. I'm not entirely sure whose peace strike that was. That was a 116 peace strike on a on an old tank mark by the looks of things. Cadaver, you really just gonna try and yep. Ah, oh, turret shot doesn't pan. I thought he was gonna go for uh, for infantry with it, which would have been lovely to see. But one more six. I mean, they've 
got just total control over this strong point, haven't they? Really, it's uh, yeah, it's looking pretty dicey. They can't cap it now. Not long, uh, not long enough left. But what we're going to do is um, we're going to in the final minute here, we're going to take just a quick scroll down um, down the scores here, because um, people do like to see it. Just a very quick little swing through um, all of these. There you go, Siege's tank with uh, 2,100, um, Clicker's tank with uh, with 1,400, and the other tank crew. Bam, bam, bam. Broman, just uh, just the 800 for him. And we'll take a quick look at the stats as well. Trip, oof, 125 on the update, oof. Tadeus must be the artillery man there, yeah, indeed, 110 kills for him. So lucky with 87. Um, Fleeder with 92. As infantry, lovely. Tivrox, uh, 92 for 82 AD. Nice scores for him. Miles McWill at MG doing good work. Rap, we saw him in the backfield. We saw Dan since with that MG as well. Um, mostly playing MG there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then Dan and Kips rounded out the top 10 as infantry as well. Very, very nice indeed uh, by them. I love looking at top deaths. Fair play to Sanzu. That's... Uh, some W key action there, 85 uh, deaths, love to see it. Andre Long's Mr. Sunshine, all very, very good deaths. Uh, but all of all of the top 10 there are, uh, are 82 AD, let's scroll down. Oh Jesus, it takes down to number 16 to find a 116 player, and that's Zorth. Um, and then we see Cyrix, yeah, you can see just uh, just the domination there from... Uh, from uh, 116 just in uh, just in the number of deaths these players had um yeah fantastic from them very very lovely professional game from them indeed let's head back into this we can take a quick squeeze down some of the players though they, some of these guys have left already it's a shame uh phonics take crew 2k score um what do we got feet tony 1600 score don't see Garoni and his tank. They might have already left. That's a shame. But all in all, fantastic from 116. Lovely, lovely game uh, from them. So, guys, really appreciate you all following um, through this stream. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope there was uh, no issues for you at all. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all next time.